welcome to Blind Owl Outdoors. Today we're talking about walking sticks. And uh, I want to show you a couple ideas and a couple, couple things to keep in mind when you're making a stick or you're going to buy a stick. For me, uh, I, like, I like to make my own sticks. And this one here, you look at this, this is kind of... I don't really see it's kind of crooked but it doesn't really matter what matters is that the handle and the tip are above each other and pretty straight I don't like a perfectly straight stick never did um, this one here has a this is a Y off of a branch and you can make this into a knob if you wanted to or just leave it like this this is a look if the, if the handles are a little bit of angle like this it's pretty comfortable uh, pretty nice this one right here, you better look at it. You can see it's just kind of just a regular old stick, but the key to it is the top has a little bit of curve to it. Now, as you're holding that, your hand just fits on that curve just perfectly. That's a little bit better than a straight stick. And uh, this is an old. This is a piece of guava, I think. That's why it's still in good shape. This this is probably three years old, and on this one I, I carved in a little a little lizard on it. So it's other you can do to your sticks. You can decorate them uh, with animals, or uh, I like carving in old faces. Uh, here's another natural stick. Here it's another one with a with a lizard on it. This is a piece of guava. And this one has a big knob on it, and uh, it's it's a pretty heavy stick. Uh, this one I put a uh, rubber thing on the end of it. It's cracking from the sun here, but it's pretty old. But if you're going to be anywhere, but in the, if you're going to be in the dirt all the time, you can put a point on them or something to, to grab. But anywhere else, it's good to have something rubber on it. <clears throat> now I. Personally, I recommend a stick like this over a cane, uh, like an old metal cane or something like that. If I was an older guy and, and needed a cane, I, I'd rather have a stick of some sort. But again, that's just me. Uh, but I, I like putting faces, like old wizard faces and stuff on my sticks. That'd be my favorite thing. But I haven't done that much here in the Philippines. Back home in Iowa, I would go up in the river bluffs and I would get red cedar and uh, that makes the best sticks by far uh, nice to carve with smells good lasts forever but I'm in the Philippines so my choice here is best wood is guava or here's one right here this one here is a piece of mahogany and this one I've got a little spiral knot tied on it for a handle and then a little I don't know what you call it, a little loop lanyard loop on it or something like that for your hand if you want it. Um, the spiral braids turn out real nice. It's a real easy knot. Maybe I'll do a follow-up video on, and how to uh, put a nice handle on your stick. Maybe how to carve a face or something like that. Maybe it could be a good a good video. <clears throat> now this stick here, this is this is pretty nice because again it has a little spiral going up here and that gives you something to grip onto. Um, for when you're walking. Another one I have here, this one has a spiral braid made out of some bigger rope. Uh, I needed a stick one day to go to Cebu to do some stuff for the uh, for Shannon and I just wanted to take a stick with me because you can't take weapons with you or anything on the boats. I just wanted to have something with me and uh, Marfi didn't like me carrying a stick but I, I felt more comfortable with it. This is a piece of thorny bamboo. It's a real hard solid bamboo. Uh, makes real nice sticks. Uh, this has no varnish or anything on. This is about three years old. It's lasted real nice. But uh, the braid on this one is too low. Come on over here, Hunter. I need you to film me quick. And uh, I'll, I'll show you here the example here when I, when I hold them. And my favorite stick that I've made since I've been here in the Philippines is this bamboo stick here. It also has a spiral braid with a smaller diameter rope. Real nice and comfortable. Um, it's a thinner stick, but it's very strong. It's made, again, it's made out of thorny bamboo. 
I uh, burned the the nodes just to give it a little style and uh, put a little braid around there. The thing I did to this stick here is, seeing how bamboo is hollow, I drilled out the top right here at this node with a three quarter inch uh, spade bit and then put a cork into it. Had to uh, sand down the cork a little bit, but then I have a oh, about a 12 inch space here to store things like fish hooks and a, a fishing kit, matches, whatever you wanted. So it's kind of a basic survival kit that uh, you're carrying with you. And the nice thing about the bamboo sticks is they're real light. Okay, now I'm going to have Marafi film me here once and I'll show you the difference between the sticks here. Okay. Now, this stick right here, if you, if you look at my arm, I'm on the, I'm on the grip here and my, from my elbow to my wrist, it's a slight angle up. That's, that's exactly how long you want your, that's exactly where you want your handle at for, for your best strength and most comfortableness when you're out walking. Um, if you look at this one here, uh, this is a stick Marfi didn't like too much. Now this one here, the wrap is way too low, but I put it on this for, for looks. You put your hand on top of it, it's not too bad, but my arm's a little down. Um, it's good for walking around, it's more like a, more like a cane. Now this one right here, this is the one that I said that has a little curve on the top of it. Um, this one, this one is, uh, this one is Tugas is what this one is, if I remember right. Real hard solid wood. Um, it's real hard to carve, but if you if you carve on them when the the wood's wet, that's what I always recommend is getting a fresh piece of wood, and while it's green, uh, take the bark off and do your carving on it. It's much easier. But this one here, now you see this one here has that little that little curve here. And again, my elbow is just, from my elbow to my wrist, it's just slightly elevated. And this one here is absolutely perfect for walking. And again, it's nice and light. But you want to watch out with your, your smaller diameter sticks to make sure that they hold you up. Uh, you don't want to be putting pressure on and having it break. And then the cane style sticks, um, again, you want your, your wrist a little down. Now, this one here with this little can you see this here? Yeah. With this little part here, it's at an angle. It's very comfortable, but I don't think you're, it's that strong for your wrist. Uh, I think that's probably why all canes, like uh, geriatric canes or whatever you want to call them, all have a 90 degree uh, handle on them. But this is much, much more comfortable to walk with. And again, this big curve on here, um, I don't put much pressure on it because this is a pretty old stick here. Um, not sure what variety of wood this one is. It's guava. This one's guava? Yeah. Okay. And then the last cane style, which is this big one here with the with the big lizard on it. Now this one here, this is a be a pretty good stick to carry with you anywhere you went. Now you could take this with you on an airplane or whatever. Um, and you at least have the security of when you got off a plane or something like that, you you know you always have some sort of a, uh, a defense with, weapon with you, whatever. That's kind of why I made the lizard's face pointy, so you could jab it, hook at somebody. Um, has kind of a round, round top on it, kind of a shillelagh-like. Um, a shillelagh would be a little more round and, and be a little bit smaller diameter uh, st shaft on it, I guess. But again, this one, this one is one you'd have down a little bit, a little bit of angle down. Um, I've carried a stick with me every time I've traveled to the Philippines and when every time I go home I carve a stick before I go home and take a stick home with me but uh, because again the wood here you can't you can't get the kind of wood they have here back home and the wood back home you, you can't find here uh, but that's all I have right now uh, again I can say that that something like this bamboo stick is ideal and uh, having the having the spiral wrap on it is fantastic. It gives you a lot of good grip on it. You can also put a, uh, if I was going to do this again, next time I would, I would put a loop, I'd put a loop of string down here that went up into the wrap and then wrap around that and then I would have a place to hook a water bottle on it too if I wanted to or something like that. Um, you can also mount a small bag on the uh, the shaft if you want to to make it like a miniature survival kit. But just having the uh, 
a cork with the uh, hole in it. See how I see how I kind of had to taper the the cork down. Mm -hmm. But uh, in here is enough. You could another thing you could use in here would be to slide a maybe one of those a little dime case or something like that, a little plastic tube down in there and have that pack full of good stuff. It'd be much easier to retrieve out of it. But put that down in there, good. That's not going to go anywhere, and it doesn't look that bad. Um, But again, you you have your have a have some matches and uh, you put a, a little fire easily put a fire steel in there or something like that ferro rod. Uh, you have everything you need with you. Um, and you also know that a lot of people they wrap uh, paracord around their around their shafts, so they have a piece of paracord with them, things like that. Uh, but that's that's walking sticks. I'll come back and do a video for you on uh, how to do the wraps and maybe how to carve a face if anybody's interested in it. So that's all I have for you now. Uh, please click like and subscribe. You can contact us anytime at blindowloutdoors at gmail.com. I want to thank everybody for coming to our Patreon page and pledging money to us. We really appreciate that. Uh, also, thanks to everybody that's been sending boxes to us, things like that. We really, really appreciate all the different things, and it gives Murphy a chance to give away a lot of things to the people on the islands and uh, needy people here. But I guess that's about all I have for right now. Uh, thank you, and have a great day. Anything to say? I would like to say thank you so much for watching our videos and. Um, God bless everyone. Have a great day. Bye-bye. All right. Thank you. Keep coming. Good job. No. You can go back down if you want. I don't care. Good job. Uh. Careful on the sticks. Climb up right there, right there. Huh? Climb up towards Kia. Huh? <laughs> climb up, climb up now. That way. Yep. Oh. Climb. You can do it. Come on, climb. Oh. Use your hands, climb hard. Oh. Keep going, you got it. All right, climb this way. Come on this way. Uh, climb up there. Uh, Keep going, you got it. Uh, climb hard, come on. Uh, 